No, both of my football teams are undefeated. NC State undefeated. Eagles undefeated. What a time to be Simone, y'all. What? What a time to be Simone with the Spizzards. You know what I'm saying? All my teams are undefeated. Don't try me. What's up? What's happening? What is popping? What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another great edition of Simone with the Spizzards. I'm Simone, bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, stop what you're doing, leave a comment, subscribe, keep rock with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first one is to buy me a coffee to help you this channel. The second link is to shop the official Simone with the Spizzards, a merch collection, get you the classy tee, the wavy tee, or the fly or die crew neck for all of my, you know, crew neck people hoodie people it's almost crew neck season it's almost hoodie season basically darn near hoodie and crew neck season at this point but guys if you do not do anything else make sure you turn your notification bells on so you don't miss a single video or a single live stream y'all it's victory monday let's go three and oh on the season now obviously this video is recorded before the new york giants versus dallas cowboys game like i said this is recorded before the game Go on, get back. This is recorded before the game, but right now the Eagles and the Miami Dolphins are the only teams that are three and O. One team in the AFC, one team in the NFC. Now, like I said, that can change tonight when the New York Giants play. And I know all of us birds are going to be rooting for the Giants. I don't know about y'all, but I'll take the Giants over the Cowboys in the day. I'll take any, I'll take any team over the Cowboys any day. But guys. We have a lot of little notes to get into today, so let's go ahead. Um, my full Eagles Jags preview will be on Thursday, but we have a lot to get into today. So let's get into some stats, into some news and little things um, from the game yesterday and as we look ahead to the rest of the week. Now, first of all, the Eagles are the talk of the town, and I don't like when my team is the talk of the town. I say this all the time. I like to fly under the radar, no pun intended. You know, fly, Eagles, fly under the radar. I don't like when the national media keeps our name in their mouth because the national media will just jump on whatever's hot, and then they'll bash you like they did Jalen Hurts. They just bash Jalen Hurts. Is he the guy? Is he the guy? He can't do this. He can't do that. Now, all of a sudden, they love Jalen Hurts when y'all wasn't, y'all wasn't with him shooting in the gym. Y'all wasn't with him throwing in the field. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to love him now, you know what I'm saying? Because it's popular. Don't do that. I don't like that. But, y'all, let's start off with the fact that they are now talking about Jalen Hurts in MVP conversations, and it is not outlandish. Jalen Hurts has been outstanding. Outstanding three weeks into the season now again. And this is, y'all know I'm a realist. Um... I can definitely see Jalen Hurst being in the MVP conversations. The man just had back-to-back 300 passing yard games. The way he's spreading the ball around, getting everyone involved, making plays with his arms, making plays with his legs, making all the throws, just tearing it up, putting the numbers up, and making it look so easy and so effortless. Who There's not that many players right now in the league that's playing as good as Jalen Hurts or playing better than Jalen Hurts. So I can definitely see why Jalen would be in the MVP conversation. Um, and it was really good to see Jalen Hurst calling his own play. That touchdown passes to Devontae Smith. That's just the maturity, the growth that you see. Like um, they said that that play was not even planned at all for the game. Jalen Hurst called his own play, called an audible time, winding out, finding Devontae Smith, making the right read, breaking, making the right pass. That's big boy stuff. Hashtag down below, big boy stuff. That's big boy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Jalen Hurst is evolving and growing right before our eyes. And the patience, we just had to be patient. We were expecting, y'all, not me, um, were expecting way too much from him way too early. And it's crazy how Jalen Hurst and two of the two quarterbacks that y'all bashed, that the media bashed, are the ones who are 3-0. and Shout out to them Bama boys. Obviously, you know, Tua came in for Jalen Hurts in college, and they're always going to be intertwined, not just because they're Bama, um, because they both played at Bama, but they were there at the same time, and then Jalen Hurts ended up transferring. Like I said, when they got to the league, both of those guys bashed, 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 bashed. But what are they doing? Balling. So shout out to them too. And like I said, Jalen Hurts, <laughs> Jalen Hurts has got it going on, y'all. He has it going on. So going into some stats, from yesterday now two of the biggest stats 
Offensively and defensively. Offensively, Devontae Smith, 156 receiving yards in the first half. That is the most by an Eagles wide receiver in one half since 2007. Shout out to Skinny Batman. And y'all, AJ Brown actually had a Batman um, cape on on the sidelines. They really loving this Batman thing. Shout out to Skinny Batman, Devontae Smith, just making those big plays. And there's when we got AJ Brown, you know, the whole, oh, what's it going to affect Devontae Smith? Playmakers make plays. It doesn't matter who else is in the wide receiver room, who else is in whatever room. If you're a playmaker, you're going, cream rises to the top. And Devontae Smith has not let up since we brought in another Batman to this team. We have two, we have three Batmans. I know Quez wasn't as involved last game, but again, every game is not going to be everybody's day. Yesterday was Devontae's day. Um, Quez, you know, got a lot of action versus the Vikings. Of course, AJ Brown week one. We have three Batmans. And I just love seeing the joy, the happiness that these guys are playing with. They they we're really enjoying playing um, this game. Now on defensively, our stats, y'all. We sat Carson Wentz a record high time, a record high amount of times. We sat Carson Wentz nine times, you guys. And the irony is it uh the irony of it is. Carson Wentz was sacked eight times. That was his former career high of sacks. And that was when he was with the Eagles against Washington. So when we play Washington, when the Eagles play Washington, Carson Wentz in 2020, Carson Wentz got sacked eight times. That was a career high. Now you flip the switch. Now Washington is playing the Eagles. Carson Wentz is now playing for Washington, and we sack him nine times, a new career high. That is crazy, y'all. And like I said in my last video, we applied that pressure at FedEx Field. And Jalen Hurst was saying in his press conference, he was like, it felt like a home game because of the way the Eagles fans showed up and showed out and were so loud. Imagine how we're going to play when Washington comes to Philly where they got the whole link behind them lit. And like I said, I'm going to be at that game. If anybody's going to be at that game, Washington versus Philly, let me know. It's going to be lit. Now... Something else that I want to talk about, just some little things. Um, one, when we glance around the NFC and later in the week, I think Friday, I'm going to do a full like look around the league, like look around the NFC. Um, I'll do that on Friday. But right now, y'all, the Rams, honestly, in the NFC, the Rams are the only team I'll take above the Eagles. Like right now, the Eagles are looking like the second best team in the NFC. And we're, we're, we're a top team in the league, period. But NFC wise, the Rams are the only team that is given that would give me pause. Like I would pause before I take the Eagles over the Rams. The Rams, as we know, are a super team, a juggernaut of a team. They spent a lot of money and did a lot to build that, like what you would call the Warriors. They're like the Warriors of the NFL. They're a juggernaut team. They're loaded down on defense and loaded down um, on offense. Now, Honestly, I would take our offense over the Rams offense, but just as a complete unit, just because of that defense that they have, of course, I would take, shoot, right now. But y'all, the way we're playing, y'all, the way we're playing, like, we're playing really out of our mind. Of course, I'm going to always take the birds over anybody. I'm always going to be riding with my team. But, y'all, our defense is looking like scary hours. And people want to say, y'all just, y'all only played, um, the 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 Vikings y'all only played Washington y'all only played the Lions first of all when we played the Vikings now it's y'all only played the Vikings but before the Vikings game everybody was like oh y'all Justin Jefferson gonna light y'all up oh Justin Jefferson this Justin Jefferson that Justin Jefferson that now we shut Justin Jefferson down now it's just the Vikings yeah but going into the game y'all was popping and talking all that she like Dalvin Cook and Justin Jefferson were gonna beat us but now that we beat them, it's just the Vikings. Yeah, I see y'all. I see how y'all do. Don't play it. Don't try me. But like I said, we are legit, legit, legit. The way that this defense plays, the way that this defense has just... Jonathan Gannon, apologies. Apologize. I came for Jonathan Gannon so many times. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll say it. Shout out to Jonathan Gannon because week one, we were looking garbage. Week two, he flipped the switch. Week three, the switch is stayed flipped. It has, it's been consistent over two weeks. And we will see against the Jags um, because the Jags are going to be a tough test. The Jags are two and one. 
they are playing like a really good football team. They just beat the Chargers today, dropped 38 points on the Chargers. Now, Bosa did get hurt, and I will have to look more into that game because I didn't get to watch that game. I have to look more into it, see, you know, injuries, matchups, whatnot. But the Jags have been playing really well, and the Jags are going to, I think, be the toughest team that we're going to play um, so far. It's always iffy when you play those AFC teams because you know we play in the NFC teams a lot we match up with them a lot we match up with Washington a lot um coaches Ron Rivera we match up with a lot of those players a lot even though we don't play the Vikings or the Lions all the time again that's that NFC component opponent but when you play an AFC team it's always different this is a whole different environment it's a whole different feel to it you don't play those teams as often as you play NFC teams so the Jags just being such a foreign entity they have a lot of new pieces Doug Peterson <laughs> y'all I love Doug Peterson down it's gonna be so hard to play I love like I always will root for Andy Reid I love Andy Reid and I feel the same way about Doug Peterson that's my Super Bowl coach Dougie P Dougie Fresh I love Doug Peterson it's gonna be so 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 hard seeing Doug Peterson <sighs> not in that Eagles wear like and Doug Peterson's silver hair like his 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 silver hair just looks so good with the Eagles stuff like it just goes so well with the Eagles colors you know what I'm saying like Doug would just look like an Eagles coach um so it's just gonna be so hard seeing him in the Jags and but y'all love me some Nick Sirianni. I love Nick Sirianni down. And I want to insert this picture right here. Nick Sirianni is just such a cool looking cat. He just looks so cool. Like this dude is so fresh. He's so chill. He just, just look at the fit. Him just chilling his AirPods. Like Nick Sirianni, y'all. I love Nick Sirianni. And I knew Nick Sirianni was a real one when we played the Lions. Um, and he was piping up against the crowd. Like. When the, the Lions crowd was getting all rowdy and he went and he went to the crowd like, what's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all not getting loud now. You know what I'm saying? Like, what coach do you see that goes over to the opposing team's fans and says something to them mid-game? Like, that's that's a Philly coach and that's Nick Sirianni. Like, I love Nick Sirianni down. I still love Doug Peterson down. But like I said, the Jags are going to be tough. Um, real, 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 real tough. That's, <laughs> that's going to be tough. But y'all... Two more things that I want to get into. One, Darius Slay's injury. We, Darius Slay did go out hurt. He did come back in. Um, that's going to be something we're going to have to watch and continue to monitor, definitely, because Darius Slay is obviously so huge to us. Um, and then something else we're going to have to watch and monitor is letting our foot off the gas in the second half. That's something we've done each and every game. Offensively, we've let our foot off the gas each and every game. That is something that we're going to have to tighten up as the season goes along and as we start facing tougher teams especially um like the Jags coming up but y'all I'm so excited I loving this I'm all my teams are rolling right now all my teams are rolling the Eagles are rolling you guys see that right there y'all know I'm NC State girl I know y'all see for all my college football fans if you watch college football let me know down below um because I know we don't talk about college football on here but yes NC State ranked in the top 10 you guys yes like NC State football we it's NC State football was the best thing at NC State literally like I had so much fun at the football games in college and I'm actually going to the NC State Clemson game both teams undefeated this Saturday both teams in the top 10 yo both my football teams are undefeated NC State undefeated Eagles undefeated what a time to be Simone y'all what what a time to be Simone with the Spizzards you know what I'm saying all my teams are undefeated don't try me but y'all look all my teams but my fantasy team <laughs> but y'all like i said i'm going to clemson nc state two undefeated teams primetime game it's going to be at clemson y'all clemson is like one of our big football rivals it's gonna be a lit so i'm actually gonna vlog bring you guys footage from that game let me know down below if you like college football um i'm definitely gonna be talking about it a little bit more since you know we're winning <laughs> but y'all make sure you like this video make sure you leave a comment make sure you subscribe keep rocking with me check out the links down below buy me a coffee to help fill this channel shop the official small and the spizzle it's a merch collection until i talk to you guys next time bye